Now, your eyewitness weather forecast. Thanks for staying with us, everybody. Meteorologist Derek Schinger here with the Chickenfield Forecast, and we're going to take the a look at the latest in the tropics. A little activity starting to brew up down there, and we are going to see wet, warm, and humid conditions continuing through the weekend. But the good news is about all of this, we will see temps cooling down as the cold front will be making its way into the area. And this is potential potential tropical cyclone four, just uh really in Cuba now, but we're going to see it kind of make its way into the Gulf of Mexico over the next couple of days through this weekend around Sunday. 8 a.m. We'll see it uh, get into a lower end a tropical storm and move through the southeast. But as we get into the middle of next week, it's going to continue to move up the Atlantic coast. By Wednesday morning, you can see from uh, Monday to Wednesday, it actually strengthens a little bit. So we'll keep an eye on that as it's going to continue to maybe uh, move up towards the northeast and maybe give us effective showers by the end of next week. Here's a look at the next couple of days. Showers once again in the forecast for tomorrow. Temperatures in the lower to mid 80s and Sunday should be a little bit drier on hand. And here's a look at the satellite and radar. Still looking at scattered showers and storms across the area. Most of it's off towards the east now, but we will uh, have a chance of seeing some more showers and storms moving in from the southwest. Here's a look at those temperatures. Temperatures mainly in the upper 70s across the area. A few areas out towards the east still in the 80s, but we'll see temperatures cooling down over the next few hours. But still looking at above average temperatures through the weekend and the start of the week. But we're going to see a frontal, move, frontal system move in really Sunday into Monday, but we really won't feel the effects of it until after it moves out of the area. Temperatures right around normal for next week, so that's something that we are looking forward to. Rain chances for tomorrow right around 50%, but it will drop to isolated chances on Sunday. Now, as we head into next week, get back up to about 40-50% for the first half of next week, and then it drops off a little bit to isolated conditions Thursday and Friday. Kind of gets back up and going, man. Here's a look at the three-day rainfall forecast for this weekend, and you can see Utica and Syracuse. We're on that border of light rainfall amounts and maybe over an inch to inch and a half. So we can see light to moderate rainfall here in our area closer towards the south, though. That's where we're going to see most of the activity. They're expecting about an inch and a half to two inches there and all towards the north between Watertown and Rutland, maybe a half an inch to a course to about three quarters of an inch there. And rest of the evening, we're going to see those showers eventually taper off about 11 o'clock tonight, seeing things clearing out. But the clouds will stay around for tomorrow, keeping those temperatures in the upper 60s as we get the day started. And Tomorrow, we're expecting more of the same scattered showers moving in in the afternoon. Really less active for tomorrow, it seems. We'll see a little bit of a, a lull in the activity, but some areas will see some rain. Some might not see any at all, but as we get into Sunday, Saturday night and the Sunday, more of the same story. Clouds hanging around, temperatures in the upper 60s to 70s as we get into the Sunday afternoon. We'll see all the activity hang off towards the south, though. For tonight, temperatures in the lower to mid 60s. Light winds from the northwest with showers continuing today and tomorrow. Those temperatures hanging out in the lower 80s, 74. Forecast keeping rain in the forecast, but temperatures will cool off as we head into next week. Back to you. Well, Darius, my umbrella is packed for this weekend, so thank you. After the break, Griswold and I have your weekly Shelton Pass Spotlight. We'll be right back. weather forecast. Thanks for staying with us, everybody. Here's a check of the weather headlines. We are going to take a look at the latest in tropics because it could maybe bring us a little uh, chance of showers more later on next week, but we are going to see once again more wet and humid conditions for the weekend. Here's a look at it, the latest. This is the uh, potential tropical cyclone four and it's hanging out in the Gulf of Mexico really over Cuba right now, but it's expected to kind of move into Gulf waters and become a tropical storm by this weekend and eventually move up, move up the western coast of Florida into the rest of the, some southeastern states in Georgia there. But as you look at it Monday into Wednesday, we'll have winds at 45 miles an hour, but they will intensify to about 60 miles an hour on Wednesday. So it will intense as it gets back up 
into the Atlantic Ocean. So we will keep an eye on that as it won't be too far from our area. And we'll just have to see uh, where this thing goes as it gets into the middle of next week. So keep an eye on that over the next few days. Here's a look at the next couple of days, though, here. Another round of showers and storms possible across the area tomorrow. Temperatures in the lower 80s, but Sunday will heat up just a little bit, right around 87 degrees for the area. Here's the latest at the satellite and radar. Some scattered showers still around the area, mostly to the east of Utica. We should see these uh, showers start to wind down for the next uh, few hours, but the clouds will hang around, and that will allow those temperatures to really not cool down too much. Temperatures currently in the 70s now for a lot of us, 73 to 77 degrees across the central New York and really the whole New York state now. And overall, we still got some few hot days ahead. Temperatures in the upper 80s until Monday, but we will see a frontal system move through on Sunday night into Monday. But the thing is, we won't see the cooler air filter filter in until behind that front. So Tuesday until the end of the week, we'll really see temperatures getting back to the normal feel where we're used to for this time of year. Here's a look at the rain chances, and it's going to be kind of hit or miss over the next few days. Have a 50% chance for tomorrow and a little bit more isolated on Sunday. But as we get into the start of the week, it gets back up to that 40 to 50% range. And as we get into Thursday, it drops off once again. But Friday, that's when I've been talking about keeping an eye on that tropical system because as we get into next weekend, that will maybe help increase our rain chances once again for next weekend. Here's a look at the rainfall forecast for this weekend, though. Light mounts from Watertown over into Rutland, half an inch to maybe three quarters of an inch. And we'll see closer to maybe a half an inch to one inch here in Syracuse and Utica, but the heaviest amounts of rainfall should be off to the south, maybe an inch and a half to two inches closer to Albany. Future cast, keeping things nice and quiet for the rest of the evening. Just cloudy conditions, uh, keeping temperatures pretty mild for tonight. And as we get the day started tomorrow around 12 o'clock, looking at some scattered showers, or isolated rather, off towards the east, starting to fire up, and it'll stay really off to our south and west of Utica. Afternoon, keeping temperatures in the middle 80s. It's uh, those clouds hanging around, and we'll see things quiet down as we get into Sunday. For tonight, temperatures in the lower to mid-60s with some showers hanging around. And another wet day for us tomorrow, temperatures in the lower 80s. And that's going to continue really through the weekend, start of the week. But we will cool off as we head into the middle part of next week. Coming up next on Eyewitness Sports, today's Team USA results and a look at where the medal count stands. We'll see you in a few minutes. CNY homepage is Central New York's home for local news that matters.